Well, Paul Ingram is a senior research associate at Cambridge University Centre for the study of uh, existential risk. And he joins us now from London. Great to have you on the programme. So we've just heard that from Melinda that uh, things have stabilised at the Zaporizhia plant. But um, tell us, without uh, being you know, too alarmist, did you fear uh, an explosion on the scale of Chernobyl? No, I wasn't fearing Chernobyl type situation, uh, rather more uh, close to the um, problems in Japan uh, experienced at the nuclear power plant there with a um, with a tidal wave and a collapse of the uh, energy systems. This is not uh, a situation where a shell may land on the reactor and then uh, the reactor explode in the way that uh, Chernobyl did. Uh, what we're looking at is much more likely uh, to be a failure in the power supply uh, or a shell or some shells landing on the cooling, plant, uh, cooling uh, uh, ponds uh, for the spent fuel, uh, which would certainly lead to a radiological release, um, but not of the scale of Chernobyl and not affecting the whole of Europe in the way some have been implying. Nevertheless, I think what we see here is a nuclear power plant being used as a weapon of war and a weapon of propaganda, uh, the latter propaganda uh, by both sides. Just on that point, when President Zelensky says the world nearly avoided a radiation accident at the Zaporizhia plant, what do you make of that comment? Well, well, I think that uh, we're not looking at a global problem here in terms of radiological release. We are looking at a significant problem here locally and regionally. And we are looking at a situation where two sides are using nuclear power, uh, a nuclear power station for uh, military purposes. Uh, the Russians clearly and unambiguously by occupying it and then shelling from that nuclear power plant. Uh, and we don't know who is shelling the power plant itself, um, but uh, we can we can draw our own conclusions. What I think we need to to take from this is not only the emergency uh, action of the IAEA that does absolutely need to come on the ground and see what has been going on and what the damage is and what the uh, backup uh, systems are like now, because uh, certainly a failure would be very significant. I don't want people to, to feel complacent about this, but I do think it, it, there, there is a red flag here for the world around how we manage nuclear power plants in conflict situations and how we can try to uh, take them off the chessboard mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, this sort of activity, because it is incredibly dangerous for uh, large, large numbers of people in Ukraine, in southern Russia and in uh, countries um, uh, surrounding Ukraine. Paul Ingram, thank you so much for sharing your time and your expertise with us here on TRT World. Really appreciate it.